Oh, did I mention that I cut my hair? Yeah, a few this weeks ago you did. Grow... Yeah, this is after it's grown out. It was shaved to the skin on the sides. So yeah, yeah my hair is this long. Oh, yeah. I didn't know the face came up. <laughs> yeah. Alright, my friends, we are... Oh, I'm talking over her, sorry. We are live, we're back. We're uh, Rodance was just showing us this nifty little city building card game that she's been playing that's... Actually, kind of a cool little concept for something to do either by yourself or with others. Uh, but we are back now. Uh, hopefully, we have everybody back. I'm back. I don't know if that's all that matters. It's probably not. On that note, I'm definitely I not to be back. Here. What'd you say, um, to us? We are back. I oh my god. Do something real quick. Oh my god. But I swear <laughs> they do this to me on purpose. No, no, definitely. Um, I'll be right back. No, my lord. <laughs> All right, yeah, step one. <laughs> step one of winter phase. Roll for experience applies to skills, traits, and passions. Anything that is checked, you roll that number, or excuse me, you have to roll higher than that number, that number or lower. It does not go up. So for anything that you guys have checked, now, real quick, did, did you guys check sword? Does anybody not have sword checked? I'm pretty sure I do. I'm pretty sure I do. Um... If you don't have, all right. If you do not have sword checked, go ahead and check it because of the skirmishing. Can I check lance instead since I used my lance more? You did do like two or three charges, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. I'd go ahead. Have it in yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll allow that. I can sometimes be a kind and benevolent uh, GM. Hashin's like, "What break? Okay, be right back." <laughs> it's pretty much how it goes at this table. These people, man. These people. <sighs> Alright, let me know what you guys roll up. I haven't seen any dice going yet, so... Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, make roll. Ooh. Sword went up. Yeah, something went up there. He rolled an 18. Uh, I believe oh. everybody has at least one passion, a couple of traits, and a skill or two, as well as I sword. So I got so many check marks this time. Watch me fail them all. That's usually how that goes, right? I feel like one of y'all had like a skill or something at like two, and it was checked, and oh, it was no, critical. No, awareness and then go up. So when we're going leveling it, we want to roll under our number that we already have, right? Wrong. Over. You want to roll over. But if you roll that number Yay. or under, it does not increase. Okay, darn. So my lance does not increase. That is my unfortunate. My fashion went up. Let's go. <laughs> His fashion went up, but he's happy and, about uh, it. Yeah, that that score you were talking about was my dancing. Which is at a two. And it is now at a three. It is now at a three. <laughs> Yay, my gaming just went up. Now it's like Oh, you eight. gamed a bunch that during the feast and then rolling out right. to the battle. My or eight my or eight went up. Nice. Make sure you guys are updating your character sheets, which I will need new copies of after this, by the way. No. no. Yes, I know. I won't get them until probably after we take our two to three week break because I will have family things going on. Oh no. Hey, my fealty Lauren. lord went up. Oh hey, I checked fashion. I have a zero in fashion. Let's see if I can... If I can... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, because you don't... My intrigue did not go up. Oh no. Oh no. Dallin's... I now have... Oh, my loyalty dead. Jeez, man. You're, go you're getting some good rolls there, Talos. Yeah, it's, it's this is, the this game is, knows I haven't been able to roll the last two. two and the game also knows that Vidmar is gonna die in 490. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something's gonna roll a uh, fucking 19 or 20, or they're just a natural crit on me, and I'll die. Yep. Nothing like taking 12d6 points of damage. Oh no! Don't forget the time when Farvel died, and it was 36 unaccounted. <laughs> yeah, 36 unanswered points. Well, my fealty lord goes up. Same. I wonder if we can get Everhart's hatred of Saxons above 30. That I'd have to roll 20. Um, you would. Pretty much the only thing I leveled up was dancing. That's it? I failed that dancing and fashion. Everything else I failed. Uh, I wow. The, the only thing I wasn't able to increase... Homage Leech goes up. Was uh, my awareness. Oh, don't forget to roll for your um, loyalty, Brotherhood of the Dead Men. That should be checked as well. If it wasn't already. Yeah, mine went up. 
Did it? So what's that, 11 yeah. or 12? It's at 11. Okay. I know somebody actually used that passion in the battle. I want to say. It wasn't me. I think no, it was you were, Rev. You, I think you were knocked out for most of that fight. <laughs> yeah, I think it was Rev. Well, my love of family doesn't go up. Oh, wah, wah. Okay, and then Vidamar does his check for aging, and then we check for global economic circumstances for everyone. Yep, don't. Well, Honor. we'll, we'll get to age in just a second. I want to make sure we get all of Rev's things updated first. Honor didn't go up either. Oh, no. But at least you're not less honorable than you were before. My loyalty Pendragon goes up. Well, the king will appreciate that, and he thanks you for your loyal service. Mm hmm. Ooh, what was that? <laughs> Hatred of Saxons just went up, didn't it? It did. What's it at now? 29? 30? 30. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh man, that is hilarious. I don't even... I, I'd have to double check in the book. I don't think there's an actual legit hard cap for passions. Other than like you can't raise them... Like through, uh, uh, like skills, like you can't increase a passion beyond twenty through the normal, uh, skill point type deal. But like critting it, uh, increasing it that way, or increasing it with, um, uh, that free point when you get whenever you cross over a thousand glory. And you cannot. I'm just curious for later on. You cannot increase your size, right? Like that's a hard hard lock. Yeah, you can't do that once you're twenty one. Which is the age you guys started the campaign at. Okay. Uh, the only way you can increase it, I'm sorry, the only way you can increase it is with that one free point that you get whenever you cross the thousands in glory. Oh, you can use that on it? You okay. can use it then. I was not involved the, in that. So you can use that point on those attributes. It hasn't come up, or when it has it, we overlook it. You can use it on your attributes um, because some players in other campaigns will use it to counter aging effects. Okay. Well, so given that you just, cause you said it's a hard cap. It can't go past what it starts as is what I was told. Right. Given that I'm just finding this out for the first time that you can put one there. Can I swap a point for strength and size? I know I've mentioned this in the past cause it came up as a, like, I remember citing another campaign uh, as right, my reasoning for doing it, like the second or third winter phase. So. I would have remembered it because I was regretting my size choice. Uh, what's your glory at right now? Like four well, thousand well, well, something. Yeah, we'll leave it as it is. It's yeah, just, I'll, I'll remember that for the future. Yep, yep. All right. Is that all, is that all your experience rolls, Rev? Double checking. Yep. It's not actually. Okay. What else you got? That looks like something did not increase. Nope. I'm just looking for... Um, oh! What if it's the same number? No, it does I not increase. You have to roll higher. Okay, so that... So it's not like a critical success. Correct. Go figure. I rolled a 5 on my awareness. Yep. You should have 10 in awareness, I thought. Well, my sword goes up. Well, that's good. Maybe you'll use it more. <laughs> With the axe I've got? Why would I? <laughs> I mean, when you're mounted. Anything else? Um, Double check in here. Because there's a couple that the check mark didn't actually work, and I had to write check out beside it. Ah, uh, yes. So I'm going through and... I remember that. I think that's it. All right. Uh, next up is aging. Go ahead and add one year to your character, your squire, family members, and horses. Uh, you guys should not yet have a squire at 21. 
And the only other person that needs to do aging roles is Sir Vidimar. No. Yes, you old bastard who's actually older than your dad, so this is even more amusing to me. (laughs) No. Uh, He's not 50. He can't be 50. He's 50. He just Ah. turned 50. Also, on your family trackers, uh, the ones that you should have a copy for your family specifically, make sure you update the year to 490. It will change. It'll show your all your people's new years or new ages, I should say. Um, okay, so for hold on, where is that? Oh, we we said four ninety. It we are going into four ninety. Yes. Once we complete winter phase, it will be four ninety. Okay. And then, uh, Sir Vidimar, I need you to roll two d six for me, please. No. Yes, sir. Two d six. Total of five. Oh, you only have one attribute effect. Go ahead and roll 1d6, please. Uh, Roll a six, roll a six, roll a six, please. Four. Your constitution goes down one point, my friend. No. Yep. You will also need to recalculate your derived stats. Your... Nope. Why can't he use the reroll token? Huh? I said, why can't he use the reroll token? Uh, I'm not going to allow it for aging rolls. I just realized okay. I actually do have reroll tokens out here. And I haven't thrown any out. Uh... If it goes down by 12. Oh. Try that again. Hey, Ro, I think we must have caught at least three warriors because I have a two warrior bounty written down on my on my notes. Well, honestly, I'm not that worried about it because 20 is more than we should have gotten for three warriors and a thane, so. Okay. Um I did post in Discord after that last session what the actual yeah. values were when I looked them up. It was 18 for the thane and I want to say one for each warrior. I might be wrong. I'm not actually looking in Discord at the moment. Three Warriors and a Thane actually sounds like my next novel. <coughs> Three Warriors and a Thane is either a very bad joke or some sort of media. All right. Uh, next step is economic circumstances for the year 489. Base starting weather is 15. Peasants appear to be in something of a good mood as compared to previous years, probably due to the easing of tensions between Uther and Gorlo and the lifting of the sieges at Ubericum. This sets the bad weather skill at 15. You will now use your stewards, whomever they may be, for your main manor, Pitten, Stapleford, Wonderborn, Gunnet. You're going to roll against your stewards skill there. I'm going to roll against a 15 to determine economic situations. I rolled a failure. Yay! I don't know what Rodance just rolled. I don't know what. succeeded on her track. Awesome. All right, so I have a failure, so we'll be in that column. Column. Uh, you said she succeeded. I just heard it. Did you really? I mean, I I do believe you, but uh, okay. All right, so one at a time. So Rodan, I'm sorry, Sir Dallin and Sir Vidimar, you guys are living richly, off the bat. Uh, so you'll get ten libra. And you do not have to pay to live richly. You can pay to go up to whatever the next one is. Spectacular, I think. Um, and then for Sir Everhart, who rolled critical, you are living superlatively, which means you get the full benefits. Uh, and I have in here in my notes, because last time we did Winter Phase, we had a brief discussion and we couldn't figure this out. This is what I have written down. Uh, Spectacular, which is the highest level, isn't a specific level, but rather denotes a knight whose earnings for the year are much higher than normal. Uh, Use the superlative modifiers for the rest of winter phase and know that the knight is doing extremely well for themselves. Uh, Basically, there's the four levels, or five, whatever it is. It's impoverished, poor, normal, rich, and superlative, and for whatever reason... Uh, the campaign book mentions Spectacular, but nowhere between the campaign book and the core book is there actual modifiers listed for that level. 
it says simply that a knight living spectacularly is a knight that is earning i don't remember the exact number but a, a specific number of libra that for the way we're doing it it doesn't apply so oh. basically the highest you can go is the uh jesus i was just looking at that word superlative um which gives you the full benefits spectacular which is the highest you use well, those same to go to, to go above yes i i realize how that works grammatically i didn't choose these terms okay <laughs> anyways if you're at the spectacular level you use the superlative modifiers and are otherwise considered to be doing very well for yourself um which for rev you are at spectacular so you get the full modifiers the other two you need to drop four libra to move to that level uh you also have your additional manners this is an unopposed stewardship roll so you basically you're just going to roll a stewardship roll for each of your stewards on a success you receive one libra on a critical mm -hmm. you receive two can and we have it give me mm -hmm. can we have it give me some kind of bonus toward the industry roll since it doesn't do anything else that is a good question let me consider okay i will allow you know what because oh by the way you don't i think last winter phase we skipped over this part for you rev for your industry you can invest money up to i want to say five libra to provide a modifier much like how we do the appearance at the feast uh-huh um Actually, I think the max is three. Wow, somebody just critted. No, that's not a crit. That's a fumble. Oof. Yeah, that's uh, Lady Lit and Manningford. Okay, they actually lose a Libra. Uh, so the Libra, the 16 was a success, I'm assuming? Yep. So that cancels it out. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Okay. You yeah, you've probably got plenty. Of, you, you're sitting on, like, what, 30-ish Libra, 40-ish Libra at this point? Yeah. Ooh, I didn't get one of my my tax collections and I had to cover it from another place. Ooh. Uh, let me let's let these guys finish their rolls real quick, Rev, and then we'll get into yours. Because I think I have your industry stuff at the same I mean, I in the same stage. On you. Well, not with that attitude. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Did you like the voice though? I, I, I mean it worked. It, huh? it worked. Uh, 18, was that a fail or pass? That's a fail. Okay. So nothing. So, yeah, just nothing. But you don't you don't have to cover it from another manner. And then, uh, Sir Vidimar, have you yeah, completed all your rolls? Oh. Actually, you haven't done anything oh, other than Winterford. 17. No, I was, I was waiting until... Uh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Finished. Uh, right. 16 for... Ulthar, so that's a success. So that's one. Uh, Alwyn. That's a success. That's, a that's success. two. That's 14. Osgood for Kempton. Success. That's three. Uh, Walston. What's that's with the new difference, by the way? Wait, Walston. No, uh, it's a, a different. It's a different board. Or, Never mind, that's not a crit, that's a fail. Okay. Uh Rev, to answer your question, it's a different save. And I can pull different I can pull different tokens down, but for whatever reason these are the ones I had when I did it on this save. Okay. Not a big deal, I was just curious. Yeah. Six these are the ones I wanted to use. One... You had No, I rolled one too many. Wait a second. You've got one, two, three, four you got six rolls there. Oh. Never mind. Wait. Yeah, no, I have six. It's so yeah. You had I only, one. only one, the sixteen. Yeah. All right, so you get one, two, three, five, on top five of your ten. Yep. Okay. All right. In that case, that takes us to Rev, Rev, or Sir Everhart and Reese of Ember. Um, also make their industry rolls now for this year. Remember that you can. Uh... Oh shit! Where am I? What is what is the Reese's industry skill? His it is thirteen this year. Uh, okay. give me give me a second. I gotta decipher my notes here. Uh, yeah, I'm at forty-two both. Libra. Jesus. Oh, production. 
Uh, should also make their industry roles. Second role determines progress to becoming established. Can be modified. What do you mean a second role? Oh, you got, we've already done one success. Okay, all right. I know what I'm trying to say here. All right. Uh, you can invest up to five Libra in uh, the leather, what is it, the, the Pit and Ember Leather Working Limited, whatever the fuck okay. we called it. Um, you make a roll. No, no, no. Invest up so to five. It's, it's plus one for every one Libra. Okay. Uh, you're rolling against your industry. Well, not yours. It's your, I believe, your wife's. Um, right. Melisan. Reese will have his 13 that he'll roll against. Uh, now, you never told me how many I earned for Live for Spectacularly on the Lee Room. You earned 10, and you don't have to spend any to move up or down. Okay. So basically, you keep. So basically, how it works is you earn 10 every year, but in order to move up, because let's say you ended up poor, you would have to spend four to get to normal and four more to get to rich. Okay. Now, can I go ahead and add the 10 Libra from the Ransom, or is that not to me yet? You can add it to your treasury, uh, but you can't use that as an investment if that's what you were asking. No, no. I just... What do you mean I can add it to my treasury, but I can't use it as an investment? So you're, you... What was your... Was your question more about can you add your... The 10 from the Ransom into your accounts, as it were? Or were you yes. trying to add that to the investment for your leatherworking? Well, I can only spend five. Correct. So. I, I wanted to make sure that what you were... Fuck. I needed clarity on what you were asking in order to answer it correctly, I guess is what I, I'm well, trying I to just, say. I just mean, has, <laughs> has the 10 Libram arrived at yes. the, to me? Has it, has it... Okay. Yeah. For all intents and purposes, okay. it, it, okay. it's shown up. But I can spend potentially five of that in the industry. Correct. Okay, my next question. If I know that they're struggling in um my my, my brain just forgot the name of the town. Ember? Ember. I, you just named something else and so, so I was like, wait, I thought it was anyway. If I know that they're struggling in Ember, can I spend some of that five? Can I split the five between the two locations? If I see that they need something, can I essentially send like one or two or three Librum I to feel them like... to increase the death roll on their end. So I'm rolling against the 13. The only way for you to do that would be to roll to spend the money after I roll, which you... No, no, no. I mean, I would spend it before and just up the dice roll. Oh, so you're trying to split the investment, essentially? Yeah. I guess... Could you... I do that even? Yeah, yeah, I guess. I mean, because you're... The, the money investment is, is literally meant to increase the chances of further establishing the the industry stuff so i guess okay. if you wanted to do that you could um well then i'll spend um i just lost my place in my i was looking at my life skills just a second ago hold on one sec she's got a pretty good industry of two if i remember right i don't remember the exact it's, number it's, it's, it's just when i when i mouse wheel through my notes it also zooms the board in and out, and vice versa. So if I zoom in or out, oh the board, it yeah, might... start so scrolling. I just lost my, my place in my notes. <laughs> I'm rolling to roll. There's no okay. specific number I'm rolling okay, against. So, well, I don't want to know what you roll before you. Oh no, I was just pushing the button because I wanted to push a button. There was absolutely no reason for me to roll that, other than just waiting for you to figure out what you're going to do okay. with the money. Because I would have told you what my target number was first. Okay, so you've you've said it was for for full disclosure, it was it was a skill of thirteen for Reese. Um, for Reese. Um, for the industry role there, so I'll spend um three Librem there and one on mine, so that brings both target numbers to sixteen. Okay. All right. So I'm spending four Librem, which I should add to the thing to my. Thing for the year that I'm spending for Libra. The, so for yeah, conspicuous, conspicuous spending. All right, I'm gonna roll. And you said it's 16 because you gave three em or three gold to Ember. Ember. I did. Three. <coughs> gold, yeah. All right, rolling against 16. That is a fail. 
Can I spend a reroll token? Um, well, here's the thing. So, remember, both towns have to get to three successes. Once they're both at three successes, then... Let me rephrase that. Okay. Once one town is at three successes, you're actually turning money for that place. So, okay. if right. Pitten gets to three first, you get some money. If you get to both towns having three successes, then there's double money. Okay. Essentially. Essentially is what I was trying to do, which my, rule, my notes may not reflect that very well, because I can't always articulate just, what I'm trying to say. I just more than got a success. Uh, I wasn't even looking. Oh yeah, you definitely did. Okay, so I'm gonna make a note here in my stuff. Um... I to I just I'm I'm hitting myself because I totally just forgot about my reroll tokens while I was rolling my my stats. Oh well. Yeah. Hitting two successes. Ember only one. Okay. And then. What did I roll? Okay, I failed. So, Ember is at one success and Pitten is at two. Correct. Of this winner. Correct. Uh, and then we have our next step. Step, if I could speak correctly, is our family rolls. Starting with Yay. Sir Vidimar. No. Yes, it is that time, that time that all parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles ask the inevitable. Are you getting married? And why are you well, waiting still totally so long? About that. So you yeah. have you are currently at a plus two for yep. your random wife generator table. Yep, and I was marrying same. Correct. Same status. Yep. And that it was lined up if I recall correctly, because I was talking to the Earl about this already. I don't recall and I don't have a note that doesn't oh. mean it didn't happen. I do. He promised the Earl to get married. Yeah. Oh, that does sound familiar. So, I believe the, my understanding was that basically, uh, you have to get married this year. There's no more bullshitting. So, uh, let me see here. Um, PK yeah, rolls. It, it was that I already met a candidate for marriage and that I had plus two wife roll or whatever. Yeah. Speaking. Speaking of Vidimar's family, can Vidimar read, or is he reliant on the monk for for um, translation of letters? I think one sec. Uh, uh, yeah, he can read. Um, I, I would like to write a letter to Sir Vidimar. A letter or a letter? A letter. A Either letter. one. Okay. Um. So yeah, I need you to roll courtesy. Courtesy. Sir Vidimar. That's a um, 10. All right. Oh, Vidimar is rolling courtesy. I'm like, yep. it's going to be All right. Great. That is a success. So now uh, you get a plus three. And now I need you to roll. I'm um, pretty sure this is a yeah, 1d20. Plus, plus, this is a straight 1d20 roll plus three. For what? Wait, what am For I your wife. For your wife. Nine plus three. Five, then, I guess. Five? How do you get five? Because I had two saved up from the previous when I talked. It, you it, said... Okay, slow down. You rolled a nine. You had plus uh -oh. two on this and roll, then... on the roll that you just did, and then uh -oh. you just rolled courtesy, so now it's a plus three. Yeah, so... I don't know where you... I don't... I don't know where you're getting plus five from. I'm saying it's very specifically that you have oh, a plus three. But... Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah whatever. <laughs> I'm adding the two. Yeah, he's... If I take still... one, and I add two, and then I add two again, that's five. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, so 12 is you are marrying the daughter of a vassal knight. Uh, you will receive 100 glory and 1d6 libra. So roll 1d6 uh... for me, please. Three, you receive three libra as your dowry, and you receive a hundred glory for marrying. I'm gonna come up with a name in just a minute. Actually, I may not write a letter. Am I at the wedding? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what is what is his name? Vidimar. You said I gained a hundred glory. A hundred glory. 
All right, if you give me just a half second here, I need a web browser open and a random name generator. Okay. I'm gonna come up with some What's silly that, uh, Yeah, right. <laughs> uh come on, come on. Come on, internet. Real names. And I need something come on. He accidentally hits the sci-fi name generator instead of the... No, he's going to get... I'm going to give him a Warhammer 40k uh, demon or some shit. Uh, Welsh. Let's see how hard that'll be. Female names, please. Welsh uh, female names. Yeah. Hey, you want to marry a Karen? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's been in 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 the in the U.S. there's been like zero girls named Karen since 2006 or something ridiculous like that. I believe it. Uh, where is it? Okay. Uh, your wife's name is Megan. I just sent you the spelling in Discord. Oh gosh, hey. she's gonna wear UGG boots. <laughs> Ugg, she's gonna be a full on Han Solo. I almost said Han Han Solo outfit every day. <laughs> you can be a hand solo. Wow. Wow. What? Are we putting this in the I feel like record? I just lost Yes, you do. There. Yeah, put that in there that your wife's name is uh, Megan. Uh, she's a daughter of a vassal knight in service to. Uh, I forget his name. I want to say Sir Bronwyn of uh, the castle to the east. Damn it, I can't think of the name. What's the name of that Her damn castle? Is her dream is to teach her son the lo her love Duplain. of Duplain. Yeah. Uh, she is a daughter of Duplain, uh, Sir Bronwyn. Or not, not, du Jesus Christ. Not <laughs> Sir Bronwyn, one of Sir, Sir Bronwyn's house knights. How old is she? I don't know. Roll freaking 1d6 plus. He's 16. Yeah, Too plus old. 16. Yeah, 1d6 plus 16. All right, we're not doing the scene from Game of Thrones, okay? So she is 21. She's born in 469. I'm young for Vidamar, but all right. Well, yes, but... Wait, what What did you say? Sorry, repeat that one more time, the age. 469 is the year she was born. All right, so 21. What, what's, the, what's the formula? Um, is it your age divided by 2 plus 7? Yes. What? There's a formula for how young is too young, and it's anything below your age divided by 2 plus 7. Okay, so 46 divided by 2 is 23 plus 7. So anyone younger than 30 is too young for me? Yeah. Okay. That's one of those mismanners rules or something like that. You're talking about, like, uh... Oh, God. How do I add another, um... I personally go by 10 years either way, as long as they're still legal. Yeah, that's 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 one way. Uh, I, you just have to. You see the on the far left column, it has the row numbers. Yeah. Right click there, and it'll say insert, and you want to insert a row. Uh, Not a row dance. Uh, you want to insert a row. I screwed Dude, it up. Jesus, are you on the one on the internet? Yeah. Right, let me see. I had a, I had a friend when he was twenty use that formula to justify 17 they were romantic but not physical uh i'm assuming you're talking about row 22 what huh? no i'm talking to talus uh, i'm trying to add a what no, i'm trying to add the did your mic just shit on you yeah Definitely. I thought it, I think his brain just did. <laughs> yeah, that was my next question. All I'm right, figure out where am I supposed to be putting the wife? Uh, here, hold on. <laughs> In her place. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. It's just. Oh man. <laughs> uh, wife. Didn't look over. Uh, yeah, he didn't do something right. That's for sure. Hey. She's People's she's not watching of... she's not watching the stream and she's not here tonight so I'm sorry. E... Nope. Uh... Uh... 
Oh, C. Somebody sends her. Somebody sends her one YouTube link when it goes live. Minus wild. F nine. In which case, hey kite, love you. <laughs> there, I added it. She's in there. Thank you. Life of Sir. I don't know why Pitamar. I was. Because you don't know. Oh, they don't. Doing apparently, they don't. Still doing what? This. This little like it doesn't. It's not counted in the female section. I just put her or... in. I just put her in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this, never mind. My OCD is going off. That's it. Are you sure? Are you okay? Yeah, Do you look, need to look? I don't. It, it, it's not in the female sixteen to forty-five. It's in its own little category. Because the border has to be redrawn. Yeah. How do you do that? This. Once I figure out where With, the border's button is. The border is typically redrawn through a series of treaties that involve. <sighs> no rev. No, I did that wrong. Um, the United States, the lines between the states ha require. Stop it. Okay, well, for no. some reason it's not working right now. I'll figure it out later. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. All right. Sir Vidimar's married. Yay! No. Uh, the next step, or the next thing to, to get to here, is. I just, want, I just want to know if I'm at the wedding. Sure, why not? Because that'll change whether or not I write the letter or just say it in person. I don't know. Sir Vidimar, have you invited Sir Everhart, your brother in the Brotherhood of Dead Men, to your own wedding? And and yeah. also like the in law of his niece. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. He's also he's he's also your nephew in law. Yeah, he's there. I'm gonna be like. He's about to hey. be threatened. Is what's about to happen. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be like, hey, congratulations on your wedding and all that. And I'm gonna do all the formalities, you know, be polite. And then when there's a quiet moment, I'm gonna say. So your brother was the second biggest scene at the feast. Um, you got that under control? Mm. Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, we'll see. If if you need <laughs> you a <down>. hand <laughs> or an axe now or later or at the fe at a feast, just let me know. Not at a feast. What is wrong with you? They did it last week or last year. Let me shut up. I'm not there at the scene. Well, not, not no, I you were the one that drew the blade. <laughs> no, but I ended it. Mm -hmm. Rather summarily, as I recall. Yeah. But it's okay. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just one of the one of the like a younger knight servant. Interjecting unnecessarily to this conversation. Mm -hmm. Don't mind me. Uh -huh. Sorry, my lord. I'll get back to doing something like I don't know, cleaning the table or something. Chopping firewood. <laughs> the uh, the privy needs tending to. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. Apologies, my lords. <laughs> All right, going on. Yeah. Are you guys done? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, as long as he says he's got his brother under control, and I've let him know that should he need help with said brother, I'm. Always here. here to lend a helping axe. Yep, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Uh, on that note, first things first. Sir Vidimar and yep. the lady Megan. Uh, we don't need details, but have they consummated their marriage? Oh, fuck, yes. All right, roll for, roll for kids. Interesting choice to explicative. <laughs> yeah, really. Oops, I rolled one or I rolled... I, so Hold on, I got to get to that page. Hold on a minute. Was... was if it was even, or if it was odd, it was a yes. If or no, no, wait, way, what? If it was even, it was a yes. If it was odd, then it was a no. Why would you not no, consummate was... your marriage? That's what I want to know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> All right, but you have consummated. I don't care about dice rolls yet. Correct? Yes. All right, I need you to roll one d twenty, please. Oh, let's hope Vidomar's too old. No. An eleven. Uh, oh! Oh, fuck! God, oh, fuck! Ouch! I spent three years getting this fucker married, and what happens? Mother and child die at childbirth. Yes! <laughs> oh, my God! Wow, this... Hold on, I need a moment. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god. This poor 21-year-old woman who all she wanted to do was to serve and, and, and be a loyal wife and have children and raise them and all this stuff and dead childbirth. Way to go, Vidimar, with your poisonous seed. I almost said something else. To, you understand to be fair. that's like the primary cause of death for women under a certain age, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I'm talking also... about nowadays. Oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, I was going to say, too, to be fair, he did promise the Earl that he would get married for the responsibility, not like just, I'm getting married and I'm done. The Earl's still going to expect him to get married next year. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you have the option of re-rolling. Is it true he's going to make me re remarry? I think it would be hilarious. I feel like the Earl would... You know, to be totally honest, I don't think the Earl would bring it up for the next year. Okay, but eventually, okay. he will probably bring it up again because he's going to expect his serving uh, vassal knights, landholders, whatever, to be perpetuating their family trees. Oh. And Vidimar does not have any children outside of, you know, out of Whitlock or anything. So he's he's looking for trees. That's he's not looking for just oh you've got a wife that's nice. Yeah, yeah, that's really where he's going with that. So. Go ahead and re-roll and don't get another 11. <laughs> a one. Oh, fuck me. No children. Yes. No children. I don't know why you're so happy about this. He has less drama. Yeah. All right. Family survival rolls. Uh, for that, I need to get to there. We'll start with Sir Vidimar since he's already here. Hello. Uh, you are living richly. Uh... Why does Daishi keep messaging me? Because Daishi has a lot to say. You could say it in, in stream chat. Like He can come say it in Discord chat. He doesn't say it in stream chat because he would have to set up a um an, like he can watch you without oh, being signed in. Oh, yeah. He can't comment without being signed in and he refuses to make any more counts for anything. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, that I I listen, I I don't necessarily agree with that, but I understand it. Moving on. Uh, you, are rich, you are richly living. Oh, my God. Where are my notes? There we are. That gives you... I, sorry, one last note. Oh actually, if you want to message me and I'll relay the message on stream, I'll do that. That actually might that be way, a little bit better. Get distracted. Yeah, I'm, I'm terribly easily distracted. All right, you're living richly, which means you get... Uh, plus one... Child survival and plus three for childbirth. So actually, that eleven just turned into a fourteen. You don't need that reroll token. Oh, okay. So... <laughs> I fucking forgot about that. Uh, back. Yep. Let me see what that fourteen looks like. Give me a second here. All right. I totally. Whole, like ten minutes. That's fine. Oh, childborn. Yeah. Fuck. Yep. <laughs> fourteen plus. Oh. Fourteen plus is a child being born. So. I need you to roll 1d6 to determine the gender of that child. Uh-oh. It is a son. Congratulations, uh, Vidimar Jr. Uh, huh. Add that to your tracker as well. Can you do it? I'm scared to... Ah, Jesus Christ, boy. Bring that up again, Loki. Uh, uh, Excel streets and me don't mix. Um, You very much misheard something. Um, I'm pretty sure it would get you demonetized. Daishi said he heard something about CP and didn't know what it was about, but I'm pretty sure we never went there. CP? Oh, child oh. born. Born. A child is born. I As soon as I don't, all bullshit aside, as soon as I said that, I was like, wow, that, somebody's going to mishear it. Somebody's going to misinterpret. Uh, male. That is incorrect. There we go. I now have a tongue out emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Male, uh, son of Vidimar. What is the son of Vidimar's name? You get to pick this one. Don't make me do it. Auto Janet, yeah. Auto Vidimar God Jr. damn it. <laughs> Vidimar Jr. It'll be Omar. No. Elgar. That sounds good. Elgar. No, that's too much like Ulrich. What? Elgar? What? Nothing. Nothing. It's it's almost like Elf Alfgar or whatever. Uh, never mind. Oh, Jesus, Fuck. you're killing me, dude. Elfgar. 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 
some of C. My son's name is Grimlock the Destroyer. <laughs> C1 minus F5. There we go. Uh, that's a no. Firstborn son of Sir Vidimar. All right. Elgar, son of Vidimar, born unto this day. All right, now we got to do your rolls. Uh, you get plus three. Well, let me look at my notes again. You get a plus three, excuse me, plus one to child survival, which means for all the children, uh, you really don't need to roll because on a two plus, they're safe. So, females, 16 to 45, you have one, two, three, four, five of them. That's not correct, because she actually needs to go down. Oh, my goodness. Uh, she actually goes... Uh, cut that line out and add it to uh, this group here. Insert above. Why did that not do what it was supposed to do? Spreadsheet's weird. Well, it's worse when it's on a share drive. If this is a spreadsheet spreadsheet, it this would have worked perfectly. Cut. And then where do I need it? It needs to go here. Oh, I I needed to insert cut a special no a few more row actions here we go mother of god why has this got to be difficult all right fine whatever uh we'll is do there this long way. enough for me to put some clothes in the laundry real quick yeah i think this is you've got a moment because this is gonna irritate the shit out of me um no actually it needs to go here okay i just realized i get to spend a decent amount of tomorrow at a dmv not lucky. I don't think that's something someone should enjoy, but all right. Yeah, I got to wear my best clothes. I love sitting in line. Oh, my God. Why is this so damn difficult? Why does Google um, Sheets need to act differently than spreadsheets? Uh, Excel. Why can't they just do the same thing? I don't know. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, I'm going to try one more way. There is that individual right here. Go all the way over here like that. I'm going to hit X. Come down here like that and do that. There we go. Kind of. Now I can delete that row. Boom. Okay. Now. <clears throat> anybody else in the wrong area? These two need to move. Uh, shit. Control X. They need to come down to there, more row there, go here. Then delete these two rows. I am so sorry for all the people at home watching a video of me talking my way through. Hey, spreadsheets get edited. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, it, borders are still fucked up. I'm going to have to go and scrub I mean, yeah, spreadsheets. They went out of business. No. All right, uh, female, 16 to 45, you have one, two, three, Jesus, hold on, yeah. you have four of them, so I need four D20, please, and you have a plus one on all of these, seven, 11, 13, and 19, seven, 11, 13. I need you to roll another 1d6, please. One of those women just produced a daughter. So roll 1d6 minus 2. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, components. Uh, dice. Plastic. Four-sided. Give it right here. I don't even need to do that. Just four. 
One, two, three, four. Your cousin in law, Igavir, wife of Sir Wastam, has produced a daughter. Oh, cool. The. All right. Uh, so now I got to go back up here. He married a keyboard. What? You said wife of Sir Watson. Watts, Wastam. Okay. Wastam? Barely even. Never mind. Just shut up, Jerry. <laughs> All right, female, uh, daughter of Wastam, and name that is relatively easy to pronounce, Glennis. Born in the year 489, her age is now... What did you do wrong? Uh, C1. That's better. All right. And then this is the daughter. Daughter of Sir. Oh my god. Sir Wastam and Ingavir. <sighs> okay, that takes care of those. And now I need for the males 16 to 45. Uh, from here to here. One, two, three, four, five. D20 plus one, please. And any number. Okay, yeah, they're all good. And now for the 46 to 65, you have one. How is Osgood not freaking 66th by now? All right, whatever. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five, please. Five D20. Uh, I believe they're all fine. Uh, yep, they're all good. Nobody dies. And your yeah. family tracker is updated. All right, who's next? Uh, let's do... That was Farvel. Is Rev still doing laundry things? No. All right, let's go, Rev. You're up. Okay. Uh, you are living spectacularly. So you get... Where is it? Plus three for no child's... Sense. Oh, are you... Are you... Blah. Are you... Oh, my God. Sir Everhart and his wife, are they having children this year? Has there been efforts made? Uh, um, I mean, yes. Oh, shoot. I forgot one thing. Uh, make a faction game for Pendragon and let me play test it. Um, Hashin, we may what? need to... Hashin messaged in, in stream. Probably when I was like, apologies for this... Uh, spreadsheet BS. Uh, Talus, I need you to roll 1d20 for your horse. No. Uh, fortunately for you, you don't have to worry about the age. They just need to not roll a... Where the hell is the horse roll? Where is the horse roll? The marriage rolls. God bless it. All right, hold on one second. I know it's in here somewhere. Mm. Stable rolls. Here we go. Yep. Uh, I need you to roll one d twenty. You get a. You have no bonus. You have no bonus. You have no penalty. Just a one d twenty. I rolled a seventeen. Yep, your horse is fine. That courser. All right, on to Rev. Ever, ever hard. What about his? What? What about his? Um, his other horse. What other horse? Don't we have a courser and a charger? No, no. He has a courser that he got as a bonus somewhere along the way. Everybody has a yeah. charger. But normal horses are replaced when they die, thanks to the Earl being the Earl. Okay. So if we ever become an Earl, does the king replace our horse, or are we on our own then? Effectively, yeah. Something like that. You, you have stables. It, it happens. Okay. Uh, awfully, bold to assume, awfully bold of you to assume I'm stable. No, I, I know better. All right, for you, 
you are living spectacularly. So that means you get, on these survival rolls, you get... There it is. You have a plus three for child survival and plus five on your childbirth. So let's do your childbirth first. 1d20 plus five. It's probably going to be a new child in the family. I'm assuming Everhart and his wife are enjoying themselves. Yeah, so I'm rolling a d20? Correct. To see if you have any kids okay. this year. An 11 plus 5 is 16. That is a child born. 1d6 to determine gender, please. You have a daughter. Congratulations. I thought I thought Odd was okay. Odd is daughter, even his son. Okay, and the and the bonuses can't change that. Uh, can I no. can I re-roll that? Don't you have enough sons as it is? I don't have any sons. Oh shit! No, you have like two daughters, and yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess if you want to throw a re-roll token in there and try to have a do a son. And no, uh, the gods have uh, determined that you will have daughters. <laughs> Whatever gods you believe in says no, you get daughters. All right, uh, let's see. Yes, female. You have cursed my dice roller, Omar. Daughter, sorry. <laughs> Daughter Everhart. Name, we need a name. You want Celtic? Modified oh. to be more Kimricky? Um, I'll do it, just a second. Oh, you're going to come up with a name. Awfully bold of you, sir. What? It's basically Old Welsh. That's what Kimrick is, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's your wife's name? Melisande? Mm-hmm. I need a Here name. There you go. I'm getting you one. All right, where are you sending it? Directly to you. <laughs> it means flower. Oh. Oh my god. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm gonna have to Google that later. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Oh man. Blood Dewin. <laughs> for, for, for those watching or listening, it's spelled B L O. <laughs> D E U Y N. Sure. Did I said anything? Yeah, yeah. All right. On your survival rolls, you get. Uh, where am I? Spectacular. Child survival rolls is plus three. You have, including the child that was just born, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You have ten children. I need 10d6. Actually, hold on. We don't really need to do that because you have a plus, what did I say? Like plus three or something like that? There's so many little females running around. It's not even funny. Yeah, and all of them are not going to die, so. Uh, but I, I do need that. to add a couple of people, or not add, but move a couple of people around because you have two males that are in the wrong group, ATM. ATM being the, the funny way of saying at the moment. Control B. No. Speaking of which, I still think it's. I mean, everybody everybody knows. When you say ATM, do you say the ATM or do, do you ever say the ATM machine? Oh, God. We're not talking ATM. about pin numbers here. No, I, I usually know. say ATM. I, I hardly okay. ever say ATM machine. Because if you say ATM machine, you're saying yes. the automatic killer machine machine. Yes. Yes, you are. Um, all right, yeah. So, Rev, you have one, two, three, four, five women in the ages of 16 to 45. I need you to roll. Jesus, short-term memory. Stop fucking with me. 5D20, no modifiers. Ooh, a three, though. Uh, yeah, oh, See, never mind. It's, uh, it's the 14 plus that does it for me. <clears throat> 1d6, please. 
Determine gender. There is a son born in the family. You're kidding me. Daughter number four. Or, not daughter. Hold on. One, two, three, four. Your Aunt Olwena has a child, a son, born to her. She's married to Sir Driston. So that is another child. Can That's I name that one? one? Yes. Give me. Um, go ahead and start doing the lookup for that. Uh, son of Olwena and uh, names coming four eighty nine. Equals some uh, C one minus F three. Ironically, this name means stable. Interesting. Are you DM? Yes, you are. Sistenian. <sighs> I'm sure that's not at all how it's said. Uh, uh, for the this thing you're watching, that is spelled C Y S T E N I A N. So Tristan and Olwena. All right. If you have, if you haven't figured out, audience, one of my favorite ways to torment Omar is by picking strange names. Don't let him lie to you. Right. Don't let him lie to you. He doesn't have a favorite way. He just torments me in any way that he possibly can. <laughs> Don't let him lie to you. Okay. All right. Now, um, males, sixteen to forty-five. You have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. I need eight D twenty, please. No modifiers. Ooh, ooh. Oh no, they're all fine. And let's see. In the forty six and up club, you have one person, Sir Owen. Uh, for them, I need another 1d20. I'm pretty sure that's good to go. He is safe. He is not passing from his mortal, co mortal coil. And that is all your family members. Sir Dallin. Yeah. Let's play this silly game. Or have you been updating already? No, I was waiting. Okay. Because yours... You don't have yours sorted in ways that makes it easy for my brain to work it, so I'm just going to well, let you do mine yours. mine is sorted by residence. Yes, and that confuses the Jesus out of me. So, please, uh, make your roles as necessary and let me know what needs to change. So, I have three people in the 46 to 65 range. That scans. Two, three. Pretty sure this they all live because the lowest was a five. Yeah, you. Yeah, on a. Oh, that one five. Well, no, wait. I'm sorry. What age group? Forty six to sixty five. Oh yeah, they're all good. Uh, it was a. They die on a one. Okay. Let's roll the childrens. So one. I have five. Are you youngling childrens? Hold on. Before you do that. You're living richly at the minimum. That gives you a plus one. And these are children uh, aged one, one to 15. 15. So you really don't even need to roll that. You don't need to roll that. Yep. Uh, are you, okay, before you do that, before you do the next one, are you, is Sir Dallin and Lady, what's her name, uh, Indeg, are they planning on having more children? Lady Indeg. Lady Indeg is not. Correct. So based on she these no rules. A correct. Child. That is correct. I apologize. Please continue. So I have one, two, three, four males of the uh, 16 to 45 range. Okay. As long as they don't roll a one, they're fine. Yep. One, two, Ooh. three, four. They're good. Okay. Now for the fun one. The females. 16 to 45. Uh, one, two, three. I'm going to roll my squire first because she's just, she is not in the permitted to have children land. 
Uh, I'm still pissed at me for that. Squires are safe, unless I de unless I deem otherwise based on story and consequences. Good, because I just rolled a one four. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, so that one, who is that for? Are you That's actually gonna? Fire. Well, she's fine. She's not gonna die. Okay, so, um, I guess I now need to roll for the, uh, three breeding age females that are in my family area. Correct. Well, and these one numbers of them are... is a house knight, and the other two are actually relatives. Yeah. So, house knight first. That just sounds so, so bad. Five, Five. is fine. Yep. No kid. Two. two is a reroll. Well, nope, nope. Wait. Yes, no, is that is a reroll. That is a so, reroll. So, uh, let me look at the chart. That would be Sir Amlin's wife, Lady Lit. Okay. Ooh. All right. Go ahead and reroll that. Uh, because the numbers are now one through ten dead. Safe. Okay. And that would have been an interesting wrench in recent events. Sir Amlin would not have been a very helpful member of this family after this death. So you may have just saved yourself an unnecessary storyline. <laughs> um, and then this last roll is my sister, Karison. Okay. Generate baby, Karison! Fifteen! Yes! That's a baby! 1d6 ah! for gender, please! Uh, that's not the first step of that chart. What? Wait, oh, oh, I do I need to, yeah, do I need to worry about twins, or is she just automatically assumed to have one? It's just one. Uh, 14 plus is children, 13 is twins. Okay. So, um, roll a d6, yep. one odd for female. You want an odd number? Is that what you just said? Well, the chart, it's an odd number, so she's having yep. another daughter. Yep, that is a daughter. And go ahead and name it and add it and do all the things. Actually, no, that's uh, Karison's first child. Cool. Is it? I thought Karison already had... Well, she didn't have one last year. Um, Medwin and Medwin and Emlyn had a daughter each. I have a lot of females, man. He, so does Rev. You guys should get together and... No, that was going to be rude. Never mind. I'm going to retract hey, that hey, comment. I personally <laughs> have three sons, so I can marry them off to other people's families. Uh, yeah, that is hey, true. Me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I believe that's all of your family roles. Am I, am I right? Yep. Okay, so as you update that, we will move to the next step. Uh, which will be family rules, survivals, undergoing training and practice. You have three options from which to choose. They are gain 1d6 plus 1 skill points applied to any skills in any combination up to a maximum of 15, but not over. Uh, gain one point in a skill up to a max of 20. Or improve an attribute, statistic, trait, or passion by one. No trait over 20, no passion over, or I'm sorry, no trait over 19, uh, no passion over 20, and no attribute above racial maxes as shown previously in the book and stuff. And what is this? Wait, how many points was it for uh, skills specifically? It's 1d6 plus 1 skills. Up to a maximum of 15. Or one point in any skill that is already 16 or higher. And you can increase it by one up to a maximum of 20. Or one, improve one attribute, trait, or passion. My my sister names her first child after our mother by calling the child El Ellen instead of Elowen. Elowen was your mother's name, wasn't it? Yes. She's nice. I'm, she's no longer being tracked by me because she married off to Dunford. That is correct. That is correct. I'm now going to name one of my dollars Elo Elowen. 
Wow. Why why do you got to troll, man? Why do you got to troll? Um Wait, just to make sure I'm not screwing this up. I rolled 1d6. So I have 4 points to put into any skills I want. You so it's 1d6 plus 1, so you actually have 5. You can put them into any skills and this includes combat skills. Uh, -huh. uh but those skills that you invest in cannot go above 15. 15 is the limit. Okay. And then same thing for... And it can only be knightly skills, right? That's what you rule books. Oh, uh, you know what? You're absolutely it right. It says it in the rule book. Yeah, I remember that now. Uh, I'm actually looking at it. I mean, uh, where the hell is it? Any combinations? You may not improve a non-knightly skill this way, and no skill can be raised higher than 15. So yes, it must be a knightly skill. I apologize for that. I need to add that in here. Um, okay. To any, due to the nature of my character, can Axe be considered a knightly skill? I will allow it only because, for some strange reason, the only Kimrick in all the land that wants a fucking axe. Well, to be fair, I can only put one point into it that way. Because it's already above fifteen. It's at fourteen. Oh, yo, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can so still roll for points and put one there, cap it. And then put those points what's, somewhere else. The rest of you. That's, that's what I meant. Like, can I... That's like if we're going to war and you're the commander or something. One more time, Talos. I'm sorry. What is the what is battle for? It's literally what it sounds like. It's used for battle. Uh, foreshadowing. Putting a point in battle is not a bad idea. Foreshadowing complete. Okay, I'm dumping all four points into it. I did not say that. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But I did bracket it. I did bracket my statement with foreshadowing. So take that however you like. Call, are we all start with ten battle as knights? <laughs> yes. That's not, I, I, Were you asking or were you stating? Seven points. Okay. And your squire starts with battle of one. Yes. Which, once you guys are done playing with your characters' points and stuff, you have... A similar step for your squires, wives, stewards, and any other player-controlled NPCs. Which sounds ridiculous when phrased that way, but I know you guys know what I mean. Alright, let's see. Let's see the stewardship rules. Are you... Uh, well, hold on, Talos. Before you start... Are you done updating points on that for your character? So for Vidamar? Yeah, I dumped all four points into... Wait, was it five? You I had five. five. You, you rolled five. a five, so it's five. You rolled a four, so it is a five. I don't. I'm not sure if that's exactly yeah. what I said just a All second right, ago. So I'll, I'll roll this rev, one second. Rev, one. Rev, 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 one second, please. No. Sorry. Go ahead, Taz. Finish up what you're saying. Said I capped out my battle then. Did you really? I know I gave you a hint, but you didn't have to. I don't. I didn't. I can't put it in sword. I'm not about to upgrade lance or spear or something else. And why not lance? You might be doing charges. You never know. You're a knight for fuck's sake. I mean, if you recall correctly, I fucking dismounted last time. Doesn't mean I'm not going to do it again. I'll do it again. All right, Goofy. All right, whatever. Rev, what were you trying to say now? I just was saying I I, uh, I got a two, I rerolled, and I got a six, which means that I'm getting seven points to split, correct? Yeah, 1d6 plus one. I didn't realize because I keep alt-tabbing all over the place, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I just I put it out on the table so yeah. it's clear. Um, yeah, I saw it. I, got it. I grabbed it. Ro, how are we looking over there for uh, Sir Dallin? My chivalry total is up to 73. Getting there. Yep. Um, I put my personal point into Generous. My Generous is now at 16.4. Nice. Um, and my Squire rolled a six or a five, so she gets six points, half nope. of which are in first. Nope. Squires and rather i'm sorry this is why i wanted to make sure we were all ready to move on to that step just because i wanted to clarify and make sure everybody's tracking the same because it is a similar process but not the same for are, is everybody done updating if, i'm reading it out of the core book it says if the game master permits your knight squire can also increase one or more of his three primary skills listed on the character sheet at this time using the same choices as your knight where does it say that I'm asking because I want second to... Second paragraph under step seven, training and practice, which is page... Oh, yeah, I see it. I see it. Okay, hold on. Because, yeah, thank you. Sorry, I... 
Don't know why I thought... Oh, the Knight Squire. The Knight Squire gets more than the generic. Okay, person. okay, I apologize. So yes, that will stand. The Knight Squire increases as it says in the book on page 132, which is uh, increase one or more of his three primary skills listed on the character sheet um, using the same choices as, as the knight. The Your wives, stewards, others that you might have, like for instance, um, Reese as the uh, industry guy in Ember, those individuals will have 1d3 points. To in, to um, use to increase their stuff. Wendy so my wife a maximum of fifteen with one point forever after that. Like yeah. So this is this is what I have written in, in my notes here. Uh, NPCs not no longer including squires, but NPCs including wives, stewards, and other player controlled characters receive one d three points to distribute among their skills. These skills can only increase to fifteen once at fifteen. They can only be increased one point at the expense of any other skill improvement. So once they, once they have that skill at 15 and they want to increase others, it's either they put one point in that 15 plus, whatever that is, or they can improve other skills. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> I feel like that was a uh, not so confident yes. <laughs> Unless somebody can show me where it's written otherwise somewhere. Um, so... Uh, 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 <laughs> all of my people get plus one straight down then. Because they all have high enough stewardship skill. Mm -hmm. Omar? That works. My, my wife critted on stewardship, so her stewardship goes up to 20, doesn't it? You know, to be honest, I don't know if it works quite the same. But... Because I thought you told me the only way that it could go up is if I critted last time. Because it was already at a 19 or whatever? Yeah. I, I'm going to go on a limb and say that was before I wrote this rule into my notes about the NPCs going up by 1d3 to 15. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, go ahead and make it, Go ahead and make it 20. These skills are capped ultimately at 20 for NPCs. Um, and that is, again, more of my notes in here. So basically the rest of this paragraph is, these skills are, ulti are capped ultimately at 20 for NPCs. Note that some GM-ran NPCs can and will have skills at 20 plus based on the material presented in the core books and are meant to be that way as a challenge for the players to encounter throughout the campaign. They are not quite the same grade of NPCs as, say, squires and stewards, etc. Um, for instance, I referenced him before. I think his name is Sir Jared, and there is an NPC knight with a sword of like twenty six or some shit. Um, you guys have already encountered, for instance, the thanes that have an axe of twenty one. Uh, these are, numbers are obviously above that twenty point cap, but because of the challenge that they're meant to present. Uh, that's why they have their um, their skills as high as they do. But otherwise, skills are capped at 20. Is anybody still confused or what have you on any of these NPC skills? I'm okay, assuming... I'm all... Nope, go ahead, Rev. So, um, do, we need to, do I need to roll for how... So just to clarify... Uh -huh. We only get one point to spend on an NPC, or we roll a D3 to see how many points we get to spend on an NPC? Or d what? So let me ask this question. For that NPC, what are you trying to improve? Industry uh, for my wife. Okay. And what is it at right now? 15. Okay. To improve it, she can change it to a 15, or excuse me, ch change it from 15 to 16, or if there was other skills that she wants to improve, she can do that. Okay, my next question would be, I don't have any other listed skills for my wife as of now mm -hmm. in front of me. Okay. Is there any other relevant skills that I should be aware of that my wife would potentially want to have? Off the top of my head right now, no. Uh, there are rules for creating female characters. Uh, not 
specifically player characters, but like what kind of skills they have, similar to what the squires and everything else is listed. Um, um and it's in I want to say it's in chapter three. It may be chapter two. Actually, I think it is chapter two because there's a whole section in chapter two that deals with female characters, whether played yeah, or not. She starts at an industry of five. I'm looking at the female character sheet defaults that I provided in the back of the book. He had me roll for it. That's not. I did. Sort of I did have everybody roll for it because I didn't think about what they would be starting at. Otherwise, um, let's see. Women and Pendragon. Women's roles. For the activities and skills. Trying to see if it actually lists them in this chapter. I thought they did. Mm. Gentlewoman bonus. Generating. Oh, generating female characters. Uh, skills. Oh, there is. On page 52. Uh, I, that's book page. The PDF page may be a little bit off. Uh, it says on the left side their uh, skills that they differ considerably from men, uh, various reasons, etc. And then it actually lists their starting values. And industry on here is indeed five. Not that's not relevant for now. Moving forward, it will be. Um, so if you wanted to take a look at that when you have a moment, Rev, to see what skills are listed there. Uh, that um, may or may not be important. Let me make a note. Um, wife stats. This, these, and for the record, these starting values would be based on a female character starting at, you know, roughly the eight, somewhere between the age of sixteen and twenty-one. Not necessarily. What chapter uh, is that? Uh, chapter two. It's on page fifty-two. Yeah, but if the page number doesn't line up with what I have, which occasionally happens with PDF... Yeah, um, yeah, I got chapter you. Number, a chapter to look through. Yeah, it's chapter two near the end of the chapter is where they talk about women, because it'll also talk about... It starts talking about women characters, then it starts talking about creating a character, and shortly after that it starts talking about actual uh, historical figures, uh, like Fair female fa female bar uh, barbarians and things of that nature. I, I can't think of her name now. Not Barbarossa. Something close to it, though. Anyways... You'll find it in there. Uh, back to the, the main point. Uh, is it, Does anybody else need a little bit of assistance in figuring out what their player NPCs need to do to okay. improve? So I guess for this chapter, I didn't know if she needed a... if there was any other relevant skills, but for now, since we don't know of anything, I'll just bump it to 1 to 16, since she can only, if, if it's above 15, it can only be bumped by 1. Yeah, that makes sense. Especially for now. And just keep it simple for the session. Yep. Since we're already heavy under the rules. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Talos, are you good with your people? Uh, should be. Any questions? Anything you need to help resolve? Nope. All right. Rodance, how are we doing with Sir Dallin and all his peoples? Oh, I'm done with them. Everything good? Yep. Uh, the only thing I was looking at is, so I just missed hitting 4k glory, barely, and Damn. I'm up to 34 libra total after summarizing all of my costs and gains for the year. It's okay. No, did did House Squires... Okay. Alright, slow down, guys. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Did House Squire... Did House Squires gain experience just change? Because I have it in my notes that it's plus 1d3 per year. It's how you. It's what you told us before. So, so it's one d three. It was the one d three. If you look on what row, what page was that? And it was like one thirty four. I think you said for the skills for the squires. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one thirty four. It's uh, specifically noted in the same section where we do our upgrades for the year, as part of winter phase. If game master permits it, your knight squire can also increase one of his one or more of his three primary skills at this time using the same choices as your knight. Which effectively we, uh, is only ever choices one or two, until it's always choice one until you hit fifteen and all of them, and then it's choice two. Okay, so it's 
it's 1d3. Is it 1d3 or 1d6? No, 1d6 plus 1. 1d6 plus 1. Okay, well then I need to... I still have my squire skills lately sitting here. Can I change them to 4, 6, and 6 instead of 2, 3, and 3? Yeah, I can live with that. And I'm assuming with a 4, 6, and a 6, I'm probably just going to want a plus 1. So I'll take a... A plus one to above 15, since I haven't put it in yet. Isn't our squires turning 21? Uh, yeah, minus 19 they, this year, which means know? yours should be 20. Yeah, that sounds right, too. Yeah, yeah so won't they be being sent off regardless here shortly? At the end, it, see, that's the, see, and this is a problem that, uh, I, I don't know if problems are really the right word. This is a common theme when it comes to squires. They start getting good, and then at the time they start getting really good, it's time to get rid of them. It's time to take on yeah. some new beginner trash. Uh, but that's just the way it is with squires. Um, what I'm also they're gonna in a, they're in a squired taste. Yeah, and so what I'm gonna be looking at doing too in coming years is when you guys get your new squires, there will be more interaction between the knights and the squires that will actually help determine the path that the squire takes in regards to some of their improvements or what their knightly stats will look like when they become knights of their own that will you will then encounter uh as brothers and sisters in arms as opposed to these you know two-dimensional sheets of numbers that they currently are i'm looking forward to when dallin eventually buys it i'll have a sheet for my new knight the knight's wife and their squire <laughs> yeah yeah that's that's where i'm going um and you know, for the viewers at home and on the YouTube later in life or later in the future as and the players, you know, when we started this campaign, I was not as adept or aware with a lot of this stuff. And even now, I'm not I'm, I'm not trying to say I'm much better now, but like I've definitely gotten more understanding of the system and the game itself. Um, but that was something that should have been happening more or less at the start. But everybody at the table, myself included, was brand new to the game. Um so there's a lot of depth and complexity that can be added over time. And one of those things, like I said, is watching a 16-year-old squire start off being next to useless, develop, developing them into an accomplished junior knight who then becomes literally your sword uh, on your right or left moving forward in battle and knowing that you the player and your character help develop that person into something more than just a piece of paper with numbers on it. Yeah. That's, and, that's what I'm shooting be, for. To be fair, in the earlier sessions to you, you had a couple of people that you had to drag across the basic rules, kicking and screaming. I kind of did, yes. And one of them is still here at the table. I won't mention... No, I'll be nice. I'll stop <laughs> fucking around. <laughs> no, but I, I mean, like, even... Well, well, that's the other thing, too, is, like, I kind of had to... Now, to be fair... Talus wasn't kicking and screaming. Absolutely was not. But I did still have to really hard lead him across the, the landscape of role-playing games because this yeah. is not just the first time in Pendragon. This is the first time on a table, period, ever. <laughs> so that may have sounded weird the way I phrased it, but I think you know what I meant. <laughs> this is yeah, the he, first time you put your son on a table. Huh? Across the table, guys. What did you say, Talus? Nothing. Just uh -huh. the lines of me getting choked out, essentially, with a rope as you drag me away into this entire <laughs> game today session. <laughs> Pretty much. I was just so, saying, is it, is, into so it's the first Excel time sheets and God yeah. knows what else. All right, we do need to get back on track. Our final step is computation of glory. And I think Rodance has everything done for Dallin, but for everybody else, and to make sure that everybody is on the same page, I did keep track of glory this year. Uh, this is what I'm looking at for everyone. If my numbers don't add up with yours, we will figure it out. Starting with uh, Sir Everhart, you have a total of 300 and... Let me double check this. What? I spent four tonight, so... Oh, I, I looked at that wrong. Okay. Yeah, so my I am tracking 335 up until tonight. That sounds right. So let me see here. Um, 180, 130. That's going to be. So that's 320. And you've got how much? I said 335. Okay. So I've got 320, 
just for the two main events. And then I've got plus 15 for the duel, which brings it to 335. Yep. Um, I don't think... I thought I spent... I didn't... A couple. What, so what I was tracking... This is what I've got. I've got... I've got Royal Feast, but not money spent on it. I've got the duel. I've got the watching Gorlo submit, the battle, and defeating the Saxons. Okay. Between the duel, I've made a note here that I, norm I normally write out what I got it for, but between yeah. the duel and the battle, I've got a plus 10, but I'm not sure what for. Uh, and then... Oh, that's that plus 10 is the submission of Gorlo. Because you were okay, there so, to witness it. So that would that would bring the two thirty five up to two forty five. You mean three forty five? Yeah, that's what I meant. Then you've got something that I don't, and that's entirely oh, possible. Okay, so let, let, let's do the math here: one eighty and one thirty. Hold on, hang on. That's because I'm tracking this a little bit weirdly, so I gotta. Okay, keep up no, I, I did the math wrong. So I did, I did, I did that. That was two twenty and not two ten. Okay, that would so that would make up the difference. All right, so yeah, I'm tracking 335, but again, that doesn't include cons conspicuous spending. So, so that that would bring the spending would bring it up to 340, um, and then if my math fails me, um, no, four. No, you should be at 10 minimum because you put five in for the for your leather, and five at the feast, as I recall. Um, I didn't write this down. I'm assuming you spent the full five at the feast. I did not. I only spent, I spent very little at the feast. I spent enough to be presentable, but I did not, I was trying to save Libram. Um, okay, so, so did, was it like one, two, three? Do you remember? I believe it was, I believe it was two. Okay. And I, um, I only spent four at the, for the. Oh, that's right. Yep. So, uh, so 341 is what it sounds like to me for glory gain this year for you. Well, four plus eight is. 12. Or sorry, 6 plus 8 is 14. 14. Yep. So that's a 4, carry the 1. So that's 3, because you, you ended with a 1, and so I know it can't end with a 1. Wait, what? I have 330. Go ahead. How much do you have before spending? 335. 335 before okay, conspicuous I, spending. So, And okay, I'm counting mind. 6. I, I thought you said that would be correct. I thought you said 338. I'm sorry. Yep. So three forty one is what I've got grand total. That Assuming sounds, I didn't miss anything. That sounds right. Okay. And then what does that bring your new glory total to? Well, since my head is already a little bit fried tonight and I can't do math very well for some reason, let me grab a calculator. Yes, yes, I'm getting messages. We said 341. Correct. That's going to be 4,513. 4,513. Okay. All right, Sir Dallin, I am tracking for you a grand total of 340, not including... Any conspicuous spending. I feel like you spent five at the feast, but I'm not aware of any others. Bro? That is correct. My total for this year is 446 for a grand total of 3966 glory. Hang on. What, did you, what number did you say? That you gained this year? 446? Yes, that's including my conspicuous spending, my ben my glory from my manners, and my glory from my passions and traits. Oh, totally left out my passions and traits. Okay, yeah. Okay, no. All right. So, what's your grand total at now? The uh, going into 39, the new year. Thirty-nine sixty-six. Thirty-nine sixty-six. Yeah, that you definitely just barely. Well, no, that's yeah. That's what... why I'm a little miffed about it. I just <laughs> missed it. Yeah, and I don't have a good valid reason to give you an additional 34 points just so you can cross the or 35 points just so you can cross the line. Wish I did. Don't worry. Uh, uh, so, foreshadowing brackets, plenty of glory in 490. Shadowing brackets complete. 
Okay, so you yeah, get to I'm not add... too worried about it because <laughs> I have 34 Libra. I can conspicuous spend that up next year. You could really you could it. literally spend that right now, and that will put you at 4,000. You just need a good reason to spend it. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I can't justify spending 34 Libra all at once to invest in my property when I've been rolling over for savings. Yeah. I, I don't um, know if I can invest. I don't know if I could justify spending three plus years worth of money. Just to make myself look better in the eyes of everybody around me. So I add up all of my traits and passions that are over 16, correct? 16 and up. Yes. That's what I thought. So, so for me, I have five of them that are at 16 or up. Nice. What are they? Valorous, I'm assuming, is one of them? Uh, yes. I. Oh, no, uh, Prudence. I'm sorry, Prudence. I have Generous, which will count next year. Uh, prudent, okay. Valorous... Fealty Lord, wait, 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 wait. Love of Family, and Honor. How, uh, the one that you said will count next year. Why doesn't it count this year? Because I spent my po my skill point for this year was one point to my personality trait of generous. Oh. You, it counts this year. It's if you No, it so, doesn't. If you, per the rules in the book, it says it doesn't. Okay. I can read you the particular paragraph. What page? Because I feel like there's an, a, another misunderstanding here. That's, Next I'm assuming, 133. Page, 133. If okay. a trait or passion has just been increased to 16 or higher by means of a bonus point, you do not gain glory from that trait or passion until next year's winter phase. Correct. That bonus point is referring to the bonus point that you get when you cross 1,000. Mm -hmm. so, you may raise or lower one attribute, trait, or passion value by one point. Keep in mind that altering a trait also alters the value of the opposite trait. Several restrictions apply. No, yeah, then it talks about that. Right, so where did the point come from that you put into Generous? Uh, from training and practice, step seven. Still counts. Oh, then I get another... Because the step nine, glory, the glory bonus point of step nine, when you apply it, doesn't count this year, it counts next year. Because it's oh, well, after you've already... Glory. Because you get... Because you you get that bonus point after you've accounted for all of your glory, Omar. Yeah, I have five. I have four passions. Or sorry, I have five passions and one personality. Or sorry, one um, yeah, personality that are all above sixteen. Uh huh. And and that adds up to one hundred and ten additional glory. Sixteen plus times five. Sixteen times five, plus thirty. Hate, okay. Hate Saxons. Oh yes, I forgot about that one. That one's a big one. Jesus Christ, what does it give you now? Um, four thousand six hundred and twenty-three. Four thousand six hundred and twenty-three. And uh, Rodance, you're at thirty-nine. Eighty-two. 80, Eighty-two. I tried to I give you some. My feelings even more. I know. I listen. I tried. I tried to give you more. <laughs> All right, Vinamar. Talus. Yeah. What are we looking at for you? Have you finally made it across 2,000 yet? No. What? Serious? 1,964. You're the same goddamn, but did you count for everything 16 plus? Mm, I don't count he, anything. He very well may only have one or two that are 16 plus. He, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all he has is one, possibly two. Oh, no. I have one, and it's Fealty Lord. You, no, you one of your traits should be at you sixteen had plus, to, unless you lost a point to it. And, yeah, unless you're unless one of your so because you have to choose a trait at sixteen. That's your favorite trait or whatever the hell the book calls it. I do have one last interjection. Wait, no, what? not yet, Rev. Hold on. So one of your when you create your character, one uh -huh. of your traits has you start one of your traits oh, at yeah, sixteen. Energetic. So did you count that one in for your glory? No, wait, how much glory do you get from that? I've never it's done that. It's the same. So it's for passions and traits, at 16 plus, you add whatever that value is to your glory. So how, how long have I game? had Vidimar? Did you not do him last year or the year before? No. <laughs> you have, I th you've had him for two years, right? I think it is two. So go ahead and yeah. count. So that's 32 glory there. Go ahead and add 32 to whatever number you said a second ago. Which I think is going to literally take you to just, like, two points under. Yeah, it is, actually. That's what I thought. 
Yeah. And then you should have fealty, lord, love of family, hospitality, and honor all start at 15. Mm -hmm. And if any of them bumped to 16, they would also count for this year. Correct. I don't um, have, I've got a bunch of those at Will Below. My fealty of Lord. Oh, the, oh the, no, those okay. are passions. Never mind. I thought you so, were listing them. Yeah, I guess I'm at 2014. So you did crossover. Yeah. So 2014, add yourself a free bonus point to spend basically anywhere you want. Anywhere? You cannot go over racial maximums, trait maximums, or... You cannot increase your size at all due to age. Well, he's already my too old for that. I'm putting my point back into Stats. con. <laughs> yeah, the one that you lost, yeah, that's, that's a great place to put it. Because again, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of players will use those bonus points from Glory to try to offset aging effects if they're trying to keep their character around so that's a great way make sure you update your uh derived stats as well yeah i'm already good it didn't really change much for my con and whatnot. Yeah, well i think constitution only changes your hit points and i believe your healing rate yeah and there might be one other thing that i'm not thinking about all right i'm going to verify 4623 for everheart is that correct well, that depends on my interjection. Oh, well, my bad. Please, right. interject. Love of family was not checked, but, and this is up to you, but on a number of occasions I have stepped way over the normal to ensure my nephew's safety. I feel like that should get a love of family check, but that's that's your call. I will allow you to check it for a potential raise in 490. Okay. Only because ex post facto. I think, and, and not to be a dick, if you had brought it up earlier, I'd probably be like, yeah, go ahead and check it. But we're well past that step, so. Okay. Uh, verifying 4623, correct? Well, or, we're not well past that step if I was calculating my total honor, because that could potentially raise love family to 16. Yes. That's all. Yes, but 4623 is your current glory, yes. 4,623, yes. Okay. And for Sir Dallin, 3,982? Yep. Sorry. I'm not re really not trying to dig in there. <laughs> I'm just making sure because I update the overlays when we do this. And then lastly, hey, hey, Sir... Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. I have a cat picture that'd be great in that dead space you were just complaining about before. No. Put a husky in there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know which way to go. Cats are funny, but huskies are cool. Okay, and for Sir Vidimar, 2014. And finally, not uh, just a beginner night. <laughs> okay, uh, that will do it. We will be starting the year 490 on our next session. Uh, excuse me. I'll update that in a second. Uh, but that will do it for tonight. And once again, winter phase has taken up the bulk of the evening. That son of a bitch. Um, but yeah, uh, let's do some outros, because it's fucking winter phase. I wish we could get through it so much faster, but there's just so much going on. We just get snowed in. Oh, Jesus Christ. I should have seen that coming. Um, let's do some outros. Talus, what do you got? Uh, Sleepy Joe. I'm gonna go grab coffee. Sleepy Joe. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Rodance, what do you got for us? I already beat you to the coffee and brought it at the beginning of the game. Mm. Yeah. That was smart. I wasn't yeah. really feeling tired earlier, but... Uh, no, I you were trying to... You, you were trying to drink more Monster. <laughs> no, I, I don't have any more Monster. Yeah. Uh, so I won't be going out by the age of 25 just yet. Not just yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so. man. And lastly, Rev, what do you got for us? Uh, thoughts and prayers while I'm with the DMV that I don't hurt anyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, and on that note, I am Omar. We are about out of here. I do have one announcement. I will be posting some stuff in Discord, my Twitter, and probably another reminder uh, over the next week or so. Uh, we have one session remaining for this month. Uh, come the 21st, give or take. Uh, but basically, you know, as far as our streaming schedule, the 21st is a Sunday uh, we're going to be taking about a three, possibly, f well, anywhere between two and four weeks. Let me see how things work out. 
Uh, but we'll be taking about two to three weeks, possibly four, off. No streaming, no shows, no nothing. Uh, because I will be going down to California to watch my second son. Not this one here, but the, his brother. Uh, graduate. My, my lesser half. What? Whoa, no, whoa, just stop. What? Just stop. Younger. Don't. Younger. Younger hat. Whatever. Yeah, the just, just. Listen, I got hat. this. Let me choose the words. I actually got this this time. <laughs> the lesser hat would be the person you're married to. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, okay, no. My second son is graduating, uh, and I'm going to be there for that. And then after our week or so of graduated graduation-related events, uh, 75% of my children, possibly even 100% of my children, will be around my living space, which may or may not make streaming more of a challenge. So stay tuned. If you don't know what's going on on the channel and in the Discord, the Discord is the place to be. I don't know why I said it like that. I, I really don't. That was stupid. Anyways, get on the Discord. That's the best way to stay up to date with all of the things regarding uh, the Krieg Dominion and our various shows, campaigns, uh, different things that are going on week to week. Uh, but anyway, I'm done rambling. This world is a dark and crazy place. Rev is a prime example of what it looks like. Uh, so make sure you do what you got to do to take care of you and yours. And as for me and mine, we're out of here, my friends. Stay safe, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Good night.